How's it going everyone, Hero Gaming, and today we're playing Blue's Tower Defense 6. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to beat Blue Narius Prime on Magic Monkeys only with no monkey knowledge and using Quincy, so let's jump right into it. Now, the first thing you want to do is drop Quincy right, you can fit him, right over here, and then get started. Now, I am going to lose a few lives, that's fine because I have no monkey knowledge on. And then we want to get ourselves a Druid right over here. We're going to go Thorn Swarm. And then hard thorns. And then hard evoke. And then we want druid of the jungle. And then we want to get ourselves a wizard monkey right. Come on. Right here. We want fireball. Intense magic. And then monkey sense. And then wall of fire. And then we want dragon's breath. And then we want summon phoenix. And now we have round 40 coming right up. As soon as round 40 comes up and the Moab gets here, just use the Summon Phoenix and you're good to go. There we go. Summon Phoenix. And you're as good as done. And then you want to go back to your Druid. You're going to get Jungle's Bounty. And then you want to get yourself another Wizard Monkey right over here. Should be fine. You want to go Fireball, Wall of Fire, Dragon's Breath, Intense Magic, Monkey Sense. And now, by the way, Druid of the Jungle right here is an active ability. It'll give you 240 cash. I recommend using it. You know, you'll get to buy things faster, but I'm not really going to use it because you don't have it. And then you want another Summon Phoenix. And then we're going to get ourselves another Wizard Monkey right here. Same path, Fireball, Wall of Fire, Dragon's Breath, Intense Magic, Monkey Sense. And then another Summon Phoenix. And then we want a Ninja Monkey right over... There's a spot here, right over here. We're gonna go Ninja Discipline, Sharp Shurikens, Double Shot, Seeking Shuriken. And now because you have Seeking Shuriken, the Shurikens will actually bend the corner, so you're good to go. And then you wanna use your Summon Phoenix active right here when the Moabs are on this side. That was round, I think, 53 or 54. And then you want Bloon Jitsu, and then Caltrops. At this point, you're gonna get yourself a Wizard Monkey, but you're gonna drop it right here. You're gonna go Fireball, Wall of Fire, Intense Magic, Monkey Sense. And then you want Dragon's Breath. And then you want another Summon Phoenix. And then round 60, you just want to use two Summon Phoenixes really quickly, and then you're good to go. And then round 62, again, two Summon Phoenixes. That will leak into round 63 because they're at the end of round 62. And then round 63, when you get the rush, use Summon Phoenix. So there, there's rushes of ceramics that come through, just use Summon Phoenix for those. And then Summon Phoenix again when you get these Ceramic Moabs. Yeah, it's a lot of Summon Phoenix. And then round 65, you want to use Summon Phoenix twice. And then you want to use round 66, Summon Phoenix twice again. And then round 67 again, you want Summon Phoenix just once this time. And then you want to get yourself another Wizard Monkey right here. You're going to go Fireball, Wall of Fire, Dragon's Breath, and Summon Phoenix, and Intense Magic and Monkey Sense. And now you want to use Summon Phoenix once at the end of round 68, leading into round 69. And then you want to get yourself a Wizard Monkey right here. And again, Fireball, Wall of Fire, Intense Magic, Monkey Sense. This time you want to do Shimmer. And then Unpopped Army. And then round 71, you want to use Summon Phoenix just once. And then round 73, you want to use Summon Phoenix. Just when the Moabs start coming in at the very beginning. And then again, you want to use Summon Phoenix when the red BFBs make it through that hole. And then round 75, you want to use Summon Phoenix just once. And then as soon as this once ends, you want to use it a second time. There we go. Use it a second time. Don't worry, it leaks into the next round, so we're good to go. Because round 76 is a tough one. And then round 77, you want to use Summon Phoenix twice. And then round 78, you're going to need Summon Phoenix when you get the first rush. And then as soon as that Summon Phoenix runs out, you want to use another one. There we go. Pop another one. And then there we go. With that final rush, you want to use another Summon Phoenix. And now you're well into round 79. As soon as a BFB makes it past this point, you want to use Summon Phoenix. And then you want to use Summon Phoenix again. Because you don't really have a lot of protection here, so you can't really risk it. And then... Again, Summon Phoenix as soon as that one ends. And then you want to get a second Summon Phoenix when it gets to this point. It's all about timing, honestly. And then round 80. So if you've gotten to this point in the video, please consider subscribing. I upload at least twice every single day. And let's just finish this up. So let's wait for that fifth Summon Phoenix to come back. There we go. And then just use all five. Watch that goal. And that's how it's done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good one, guys. Bye now.